Hey, Eugene here. Thanks again for joining my channel. Today I am going to show you how to add sounds to your Final Cut Pro sound library. And I've got the newest uh, operating system on my Mac right now. Um, um, I forget what it's called, but it's the most recent one that came out. So as of uh, mid-2020, it's the most recent one. So if you have an older one, it should still work the same. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And if this is your first time here to this channel, uh, and if you like to, want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when my videos post. So let's get right in on to it. A while back, I had purchased some sounds, uh, a cinematic sound pack, and I want to add these to the Final Cut Pro, Pro Library. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your finder and you're going to go up to go and then you're going to go to computer and then then you're going to go to Macintosh HD and then library and then audio and then audio loops and then Apple and you're going to scroll down until you get to Final Cut Pro sound effects. Click on that. And here's we've got all of these sound effects. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open I'm going to open up the where I've got the sound effects here, the cinematic sound pack. I am going to open that up and I'm going to just go ahead and drag these into library and it'll take a little bit for them to upload Okay, now if you go to your sound effects, okay, so you go to your sound effects, it, they'll show up in in the genres. Um, Like the cinematic ones, for instance. And there you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All Basically, all you got to do, the reason I showed you the folders to go through is because uh, sometimes uh, Apple likes to hide their folders. And so you got to go through and nest the folders to find the correct one. But once you get those sounds into that folder, you will uh, have them and they'll show up in your library and so you don't have to uh, download them or drag them every time. You can just go to the sound effects and find them. So thanks for watching and, and whenever I discover something new how to do it on Final Cut Pro, I figure every, there's at least one other person who wants to know how to do it. So I will go ahead and post a video. So again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.